Addison is our first child of five. It was until she was about a year and a half that we really knew things were going on. She uh, did have microcephaly, which meant that her head was not measuring within normal limits. Microcephaly is a condition where the brain fails to achieve its normal size. Consequently, they don't work quite as well. They often have particular difficulty with some of the really high level functions like language. There are many causes of microcephaly, both conditions that can occur before birth, during the birth process, and after you're born. For instance, infections can uh, cause microcephaly. But there are also uh, many different genetic conditions as well. We started meeting with a neurologist and she had a seizure at four months. But both of those conditions, the doctors told us, could happen in a typical child. We had a referral to a geneticist. He thought it was not a genetic issue, but it was just more of a random occurrence. And at that time, they said, look, it's probably a pretty good likelihood that you're, you're not going to know, you know what the, the root cause of, of this is uh, in your lifetime. I mean, the technology and the science probably just isn't going to be available. Um, and so we just went about our lives uh, you know, as best we could, had two typical boys, and that supported the data that we were getting at the time. And it really wasn't until we had our fourth child, Brooks, that it was evident he had the same condition that his sister Addison had. Now it is a genetic issue and an inherited issue. And that's what really led us to the people here at Boston Children's and the Walsh Labs. The Lennons came to see us because they had just had a baby boy that suffered from microcephaly as well as having seizures and they recognized this as the same problem uh, that their daughter had also had. They were very, very eager, as you might imagine, to try to understand the cause of this condition. It was an amazing experience for me as a mom because when we met with this group of doctors, it was the first time that I actually felt like, you know, we, if we don't even know what, what Addison and Brooks have, at least we can feel like we've done everything that we can. These doctors were just amazing and took the time, all of them and their different specialties, to get to know our case. My wife and I certainly had a peace of mind that we could go anywhere in the world and not find more competent, better uh, doctors uh, than what we found here at the Walsh Labs. We were able to find changes in their DNA and able to correlate those changes with abnormal cell function. And at that time that we were confirming this, they called us to tell us that they were expecting another child. Why we certainly were very happy about it in ways that we were very fearful, obviously. Brooks had had such a hard time his first year and a half that I, as a mom, had a hard time coming to terms with the fact that I might knowingly bring another child into the world that could have those challenges. We found ourselves uh, reaching back out to the Walsh Labs to find out if there was you know, a test that could be done to determine whether or not the child was going to be affected with the genetic condition. My wife and I fully expected that uh, there was not going to be a definitive test and to our, our very pleasant surprise, they got back to us and said, absolutely, we know exactly where to look. When she was 11 weeks in utero, we were able to test her and she did not have the condition. Thrilled, we instantly knew that some place in her name was going to be set aside after Dr. Gilmore for just an attempt to thank him for all the research and the work that's being done on this condition and the miracle that they've given us. Dr. Gilmore spent a lot of time with us and answered every question we could possibly come up with. We just felt like naming her after Dr. Gilmore would be a, would be a good thing to do. So Grace Gilmore is her name. We got the message that she was born and that she had been named Grace Gilmore the day after my own daughter was born. And I found it incredibly humbling and, and almost overwhelming that that they had associated me and my name with the work that had been done by a very large group of people. The thought that we might have had some small role in being able to bring a healthy child into the world is something that is just tremendously moving. There just is not enough words to articulate our gratitude to this hospital and the research that is being done here and the work that uh, Dr. Walsh has set his life on and the work that Dr. Gilmer has done has just changed our entire life.